Welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. So for this problem, let's first start out by drawing a picture. They say that we have a tree in the center of the garden. And they say that the garden is 12 meters wide. So end to end is 12 meters. They say that a butterfly starts out right up here on the top of the tree, and then it flies down to a little flower at the very edge of the garden. So then they want to know what is the magnitude of the displacement that the butterfly went to land on the little flower. So if you look at this picture, we just drew a triangle, and they tell us that the tree is 6.5 meters taller than the flower. So if we redraw this picture as a triangle, we have 6.5 meters. And then be careful, don't put 12 for the bottom of the triangle. They're trying to trap you with that because they say it's in the center of the garden and the whole garden is 12 meters wide. So this is six meters. And they wanna know what is this right here from where the butterfly was to where it ended. Now, a point with displacement is it doesn't matter if the butterfly does a little loop-de-loop -loop and flies all over the place because it eventually will end up on the flower. And all they want to know was where it started to where it stopped. That is displacement. So the distance from here, a straight line down to here. So we know that this is a right triangle and we can use Pythagorean's theorem to solve this. So we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So c is what we're looking for. That's the hypotenuse right here. So we know that a is 6.5 meters plus b, which is six meters, is equal to c squared. So if we do this, this is a calculator, my favorite calculator. You've probably heard me talking about it in other videos. It will save your life in science classes, so I highly recommend following the affiliate link in the description below. It helps the channel out, and it will help you out with your science classes. So we have plus six squared, and then when we do that, we're left with 78.25. So 78.25 meters squared is equal to c squared. Now we want c alone, so let's do the square root of both sides, and that will get rid of that, and we'll be left with just meters. So we know, we know that we're correct as far as our units. And then if we take that and if we do the square root of the answer is 8.845, 8.845 meters. Or if we round C, or the total displacement of the butterfly is 8.8 .8 meters for significant figures.